What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Techtrix back with another video and today I'm going to show you the brand new way to vlog and live stream. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified in the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your DJI Osmo Pocket. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. And here we go. So first what we need to do we want to talk about um, how we can live stream with the iPhone and a DJI Osmo Pocket. So it's right now, it's not the best way to do it. Um, it is possible in a way, but if you're live streaming straight from your phone, let's say if you're outside, um, you're wherever you go, you are someone who wants to live stream outdoors using your DJI Osmo Pocket, you can do it but it's not the best way right now. Hope DJI will uh, listen to this video and update their Mimo app. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna show you today how to do it. So the easiest way is obviously to connect it. Connect your DJI Awesome Pocket, turn it on and connect it to your phone, just like that. And all we're gonna do is download uh, Streamlabs OBS, or if you are in Mixer, then go ahead and do that. If you already have a DJI Osmo Pocket, you'll be able to open the Mimo app, but to be able to live stream, you'll need Streamlabs OBS. So let's go ahead and search that up. Streamlabs OBS. So Streamlabs or Mixer will work. If you don't have that on your phone, make sure to download that from the App Store. I'll link that down in the description below. So go ahead and install that. Put in all your, your credentials. Let's go ahead and check out Streamlabs right now. Right there, Streamlabs. Right now it's using the phone camera, but I'll show you what I mean once you've set up everything here, then you don't have to come back. So what you need to do is go here, make sure to log in, all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and go to settings. You can go ahead and edit the Streamlabs or the streaming platform, the broadcast, and the, you can edit all this. Once you've done this, then you'll be able to go to, so do the same thing with Mixer and your Streamlabs. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and go to settings, go to control center, customize controls, and make sure that screen recording is inside the included side of your control center. So once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and click screen recording right there. Again, that's from the control center. 3D touch on the screen or long press on the screen recording. Now here you can use Streamlabs or Mixer. For the purpose of this video, all you need to do is just click that or create that. Just like that. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and hit broadcast. Make sure that the microphone is on as well. And then hit broadcast. For the purpose of this video, all we're gonna do is just the photos. So that it'll go to our photos instead. All what we do is just start recording. And there you go, it'll count down and you're good to go. Now you can go ahead and open up Mimo app. There you go. Sometimes it doesn't work, so just go ahead and retry that. There you go. Let's go back. So as you can see there, it's screen recording right now. So with from here, then you can go ahead and vlog with your DJI Awesome Pocket. You can go ahead and use uh, face track with your DJI Awesome Pocket. You can edit all these things as well with the Mimo app. So every everything that is on your screen will just pop up on your live stream. And that's it. So once you've done once you're done live streaming, all you need to do is just click this. There you go. So you could see this is to the photo, so let's look at it. See what it looks like. And there you go. That's basically how your live stream screen would look like. Like again, I said earlier, um, I hope that DJI would uh, take this for a future update where we can just get rid of all these menus 
and just have it just a screen or else uh, you'd be stuck with all this. You can also get rid of the, you can turn off the grid on, on this as well if you don't like that on your, on your screen. So you can go ahead and do that right at the Mimo app. Right here, you can go ahead and take off grid lines, turn it off just like that. So that is the best way to live stream with your DJI Osmo Pocket. If you wanna buy a different bracket for that, so that you'll be able to hold your DJI Osmo Pocket better with one stick, you can go ahead and do that as well. It's basically just a amount for here and the one that holds your DJ at the same time as well. I'll link that down below as well so that you can go ahead and check that out. All the links in down below is affiliate links as well. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope I was able to help you with live streaming with your DJ also pocket. Again, it's not the best way right now, but uh, it'll do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well to keep you notified of the next videos to come. Comment below what I could improve on and comment below if you are able to make this work on your iPhone. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.